Okay, so I've got some packages today. Very exciting packages. This is the M1 Mac Mini, a brand new one I ordered yesterday. And here we have a leather magnet link for my Apple Watch. So in this video I will unbox this Mac Mini and then set it up. At least start the setup. Let's see how long it takes. And this I will do in another video. So let's start by unboxing this. Here is the box itself as you can see. Mac Mini. And it says 8 GB of memory and 256 GB of SSD storage. It's the entry level Mac Mini. So let's start by unboxing it. Let's re remove the famous Apple plastic above it. Like so, and then the magical unboxing, the magical packaging from Apple. Just lift the top and there you go. And here we have the Mac Mini itself. Whoa. Let's check that later. Let's see what's more in the box. Here we have some uh, documentations and maybe an Apple sticker if I'm lucky. Mac Mini documentation, warranties and so on. And yes, a silver Apple sticker. I love it. That's what I want. I bought this just for the sticker. I'm joking. So, what's more in the box? We have a power cable. Ooh, nice packaging of that. Like so. Here is the power cable. Ooh. That's what's in the box. So let's check out the Mac Mini itself. Let's remove this plastic first. Let's do it the right way if I can. Like so. Feels so nice to do this. Very nice. plastic it has some plastic over the contacts hmm. that's the first I've never seen that like so so here is the back side as you can see Power cable, Ethernet port, two Thunderbolt ports, HDMI, two USB-A, and a headphone jack, fan, ventilation, and here is the bottom of it. And that's about it. Power button. And this is the front with a small LED light. That's what's in the box. So a cable and the Mac Mini. And not to forget an Apple sticker in silver. Nice. That was the unboxing. Now we will do a setup of it. Okay, so 
I have now plugged the cable in, the power cable, and now it starts up for the first time. Well, I need a mouse. So let's see if it goes better now when I have turned off Bluetooth on my old MacBook to see if I can pair the touchpad with the new the new yes it worked as you can see it worked so I can pair it with the new Mac Mini the M1 Mac Mini let's do the same with the keyboard because I think that will be needed too soon so now I have the touchpad available let's click next so now I should pair the keyboard let's try again turn it off and turn it on Yes, now I have paired both the touchpad, the magic touchpad from Apple and the, the magic keyboard from Apple. To use English as the main language, press the return key. Now Siri speaks to me that I should choose a language, but I want to have Swedish, like so. Now I have choose Swedish. Now I click the return button on the keyboard. Now I should choose region and land again. Country, country. We have Sweden here. Continue. Here is some accessibility features, but I will not have any of that now. Now I should choose my Wi-Fi network. Now I type the password for my Wi-Fi network. Let's see if it was the right password. I'm not sure. It's not every day I do that, but it should be the right one. Privacy and integrity. Now it asks me if I want to move my data from my old Mac or a time machine backup or a booting disk. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try that. You can also choose a Windows computer if you want. I'm not sure that is a good idea, but um, you can. So let's choose this option. I have my old MacBook Air here, ready to transfer some data. Hmm. I need to open an app on the old computer. Now I have started that other app, Move Assistant. In Swedish, Flytta assistant. Now it closes all the apps on the other computer. Now I should choose to another Mac. Till another Mac on Swedish, like so. Now I have chosen that. Now I choose the MacBook Air. And now continue. Now I should see if the code is correct and then click continue. Now it connects to the other Mac. Controls, controlling, checking the other Mac. 
now I should choose what I want to move from the other Mac. Let's see how much it says it will take. Hold on to see after it has counted all the gigs and so on to transfer. About 10 gig already. Hmm. This will take a very, very long time. I'm sure of that. Whoa. Almost 20 gig now. Let's pause this video until it has counted all the data. So now all the files and data are counted. And as you can see down here, 64 gigabyte is marked for moving over to the new Mac mini. And after that, I will have 154 gigabyte of storage left. But I uncheck all these, I think. Hmm. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Because I have iCloud and I have all the photos in iCloud, so I don't need photos to transfer. Movies and music, I don't have any movies and music, what I know of. Documents, I don't need documents either, actually. I have all that in iCloud. Well, I think I will go for this. And as you can see, a lot less to move over. 20 gigabyte. I think that will be enough. I'm not sure what other files and folders are too. I don't know that. But maybe I need that. Well, this will be what I transfer. And that will take a very long time is my guess. Hmm. Okay, now I should choose a password. So hang on, like so. Now continue. Okay, licensing and so on, warranty. I'll agree. Now it starts to transfer. As I said, this looks like will take a very, very long time. Hmm. So let's pause this video again. As you can see down below here, one hour and 18 minutes it will take with 11 megabytes per second. That's a long time. So it didn't take so long time, about uh, 20 minutes, so a much, much, much shorter than it said. So 20 minutes later, I'm finished now. So now the computer will restart in about three seconds. And then we will see what happens. Meanwhile, I... Did you hear that sound? It's new, it's back again. I love that sound. I have that on my MacBook Air, the 2012 MacBook Air, the old one here. So, as you can see, it starts quite fast, the new Mac Mini M1. Now, the move of the data and settings and so on is finished. So click on done. And now I should log in to my brand new Mac Mini M1. I love it. 
This will be interesting. So my old MacBook Air from 2012 will be replaced now. So this new Mac Mini M1 will be both a file server as my old Mac has been and also eventually a video editing computer for me. Not now. My Apple ID. Hmm. Continue. Hmm. Uh, allow and now the code because I have two factor identification authentication. No, I don't want to share my analyzing with Apple. Yes, I want to encrypt my boot drive and allow my iCloud account to lock the encryption up. Yes. Like so. Now I think we are done for this video. Now I have a lot of stuff to do as you can think, of course. So it looks like it has moved over a lot of stuff here, actually. Hmm. I think that's a very, very smart and nifty way to boot up a new computer. I have uh, a lot of apps I didn't think I should have on this computer now looks amazing so now I guess I'm done for this video this will be so exciting this will be a exciting exciting times to start using a Mac again and use it for what it's meant for actually and working on and do some creative stuff and all that. I love this. This is awesome. So now I will say goodbye for now. And now we will see each other in another video. And please subscribe. Bye.